Hello, Mike here from Low Impact Forestry. On behalf of Forestry Journal, down in the south of England, near Maidstone, come down to see the guys and gals from Kirkland, UK, to have a look at an Antonio Carrero tractor, specifically that one behind me. It is a Mark IV Tony, and it has a CVT gearbox, and I'm gonna have a poke around it, and we'll have a good look. So, here it is. The Mark IV Tony quad track. First things first, it's absolutely beautiful machine. The quality of the finish is absolutely superb. It is a joy to behold. Uh, the build quality is phenomenal. The sort of specifics on this machine is obviously we've got the quad track system for real low ground pressure, um, good traction on the hills. I think it might have its place in forestry. It is a really nice machine. 98 horsepower engine, plenty of oomph. You could run a really decent winch on this. Uh, you could tow a decent sized timber trailer as well. It is very well thought out and very well put together. It has a CVT gearbox as well, so no more manual gears. It is really well thought out, really nice. There's some lovely features as well. It is a stunning machine. Here's a view inside the cab. Very pleasant place to be. Nicely thought out. And surprisingly comfortable for a compact machine. It is surprisingly comfortable. Here's your selector for your CVT gearbox. There is a clutch pedal you do have to press just when you switch it on, probably as a safety feature. But once you're in, electronic parking brake, disengage, forwards and backwards, and away you go. Really clever, really simple. And some other nice design features as well. Rear linkage control, which again is quite uncommon to see, see on the smaller machines like this. I think it's got its maximum number of spools there. Um, again, great utilisation in forestry. You've got a hydraulic rear linkage, um, and you can also spec a hydraulic top link for it as well. But yeah, uh, again, very nicely thought out. Everything you're going to need for our line of work. A decent feature you'll find on this particular tractor and, and the others in the range as well from uh, Carrero is this uh, Actio oscillation system. So this gives 15 degree uh, of oscillation on the pivot point there. We've just jacked it up on a bit of wood there just so you can get an idea of it. But again, those who work in the smaller scale forestry will know stumps or bits of dead wood, debris and things can be the enemy. So having that ability just to sort of sneak over stuff is absolutely priceless and saves your bones. Front linkage, hydraulic feeds to the front, bull bar and weights all really add to the usability of this machine i think it would be fantastic in the right application really really good and as mentioned before the build quality absolutely superb right so we're in the cab now you have to excuse the milk bottle legs they don't generally see the light of day so apologies to anyone who's really offended but the startup procedure is really straightforward clutch down as mentioned simple as that it is actually really quiet in here the back window is open because it's absolutely cooking it's like 25 degrees 26 degrees something like that probably even warmer so i have got the back window open but it's nice and quiet in here it's really really good so parking brake off forward engage and off we go Just driving over the lumps of wood that we had up to show the oscillation. And yeah, foot down and off you go. On quite rough ground here as well. Very dry. Good visibility out the cab. great place to be and that's it parked up now disengage your selector parking brake on Robert's your mother's brother 
So we've got Ben here from Kirkland. He's going to show us uh, how easy it is to change it in a reverse steer on the Mark IV. So Ben, over to you. So pedals up, armrest up if you've got the option of the armrest. Seat forward. A very stiff lever. Brand new machine, so it's going to be a bit stiff. Look at that. And exactly the same in reverse. Armrest down, job done. Superb, my friend. Right, so we're going to give it a whirl in reverse drive. Show you how easy it is. Doors shut, clutch in, beep, ignition on. Parking brake off. Now they've got to go forwards or backwards. That's handy. So when you change it to forwards, it'll actually take you in the direction that you're supposed to go, rather than me getting really confused and wanting to go backwards. There we are. Fully off. Reverse drive. Back the way we came. So simple. Really simple, really straightforward. Yeah, these guys have nailed it.